Hello everyone, my name is Carlos and I'm going to teach you some beauty tips for your dog. For start, we're going to use this Javon Sote. It's a soap for your dog that it's very nice. It's, it doesn't contain any harmful chemicals for your dog, that it's very important for the skin of your dog. Next, we're going next with this shampoo. It's a shampoo that you can get on your vet's vet shop. It's very nice, it's, it gives him uh, clear hair. You can, if you cannot afford or buy this cheap shampoo, you can make your own shampoo always. Uh, there are many recipes for it. I use personally one with rounded oats. But after all of that, I use something for the fleas and parasites for the hair of my dog. It makes it shine too. It's mostly for a dog with long hair. So be careful with it because the vinegar that I'm going to use can be harmful for the pH of the skin of your dog. So try it on only the superficial part of the hair, okay? So you use apple vinegar and olive oil, just like that. You put a little bit on your container, you just mix it and you just spray it or put it around the hair on your, of your dog. You use apple vinegar, you use two tablespoons of it and olive oil, two, two tablespoons too, okay? You mix it and you apply it to the hair of your dog. Not the skin, just the hair, like the superficial part of the hair. Other thing you can use for the beauty of your dog, another tip, another, another great tip, is you use olive oil also, well, like one tablespoon only, on his food. Another tip you can get for the beauty of your dog, it's with within his organic food, if you use an organic diet for your dog, you can use or add tuna or salmon on it. Also give it like one tablespoon of coconut oil or olive oil. It, this is very healthy and good for their skin and their hair. This is my little Kira, she's my dog. And we're actually going to give her a nice bath. She needs it. Since she needs it, the dogs for the hair care and the skin care, they need actually only like two baths per month. Because if you do it more usually, you can harm their skin because they are very sensitive. Okay, when you wash a dog that is very messy, because we all have that kind of dog that is very messy. He doesn't, he or she doesn't want to wash or get a bath. So you start openly with from the neck to the bottom, and um, for the last you use you just wash the head. Be careful to wash their ears because they don't need to have too many water or soap on their ears because they are very sensitive. Because they can get an infection about it. Of it and between the eyes be very careful they are very sensitive after that you must mostly leave her to the sun or with a towel to get dry her skin and the, and the hair and from that you need you need to brush it mostly mine drops a lot of hair because it's that season for the huskies especially when they drop a lot of hair. We can make another dog from so much hair, to be honest. But it, it, it can take between like one to two hours maybe for me to brush it. But for most dogs, it's just like half an hour or maybe an hour maybe. Depends on the dog. 